What's going on guys? So today I want to talk about a product line that we have here that never really did that well uh, for whatever reason. Chances are it's it's more of a brand recognition thing um, but these are the Barrow 5 volt addressable RGB fans. Um, in my opinion it's quite a nice looking fan um, and it actually does push some air. Let's go ahead and take a look at the specs on the box. Now, before we get through this video, you're going to want to watch this video at the end because, um, spoiler alert, we're going to be giving some of these products away to random commenters on the video. So get those comments up. Uh, this will be issued at random uh, to a commenter. You have to be, you have to comment on the video and you have to be subscribed. And unfortunately, to get the products, you're going to have to be in the U.S., uh, not including you're going to have to be in the U.S. Um, if you live in a U.S. territory like Guam or something like that, um, we might be able to work something out, but domestic to the U.S., we're going to be giving away two of these fans and the fan hub, which is needed for them at the end of this video. So let's talk about these fans. Uh, these are selling for a really good price. Uh, we have them on the website for, I think, under $15 per fan. They do have rubber corners, okay, and uh, let's check the RPMs on these. So according to Barrow, they're 1900 RPM, uh, 120 by 25, so that's, I mean, that's a fairly decent fan. Really, you buy something like this more so for the RGB, and if we take a look at the actual fan design itself, get this out of the box so the actual design of the fan itself it has plenty of blades and uh, they're pretty close to the frame so it's got more of a static pressure design now it is a pretty lightweight fan doesn't have a super thick frame so I guess if you smash this thing on the floor you might break it but uh, you know as you can see it's zone lit 5 volt RGB. Um, the control board, you do get a remote, and actually the board itself has a little switch on it, so you can switch from remote control, um, or actually you can have this be controlled by your motherboard if you so choose. You can do a lot of fans on here. What's that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it looks like up to 16 fans, and the way they're doing these, this is the one big downside, in my opinion. Ooh, that's tight. So on this side, you're literally just getting a 1, 2, 3, a 6-pin fan connector. And what they've done is they've combined, combined? What they've done is combined uh, your standard 3-pin fan um, and the three pin Barrow RGB. Barrow is known for doing their RGB with a fan header. And uh, one of the nice things they've included with the controller is the pinout. So if you want to kind of modify these cables yourself, you can do that. It looks like you can also just run a three pin fan off this controller, um, you know, without RGB. So anyway, ah, so here we go. So if you want to control the LEDs via your motherboard, you do have a conversion cable, which is seen here. So you can plug this uh, three-way into your motherboard, and then you can plug this into the controller. And let's see what this says. If it gives PWM, it does. So you're getting 12-volt ground and PWM. So this does give a pulse width modulation signal. Um, and they are sharing the ground for the 5 volt. So you do get a full 4 pin fan and then the uh, data and 5 volt for the RGB. So you do need to be able to supply this with a 12 volt and 5 volt rail um, unless you just want to power the fan, but I suppose you could just power an LED strip with this as well. Um, so, really the downsides to this product is A, you need the control board, which we'll also be giving away, we'll be giving away two fans and the control board. And the other issue here is going to be the actual cable 
for the fan. What they're using here is a pH 2.0 female. Um, and on this side, like I said, it's the uh, the six pin fan. And on the fan, again, it's, it's a pH 2.0. The downside here, um, obviously this isn't a super standard connector for computers, so you are kind of stuck using the Barrow uh, SATA controlled module here, but that's no different than Corsair or any of these other companies. It does come with some nice squishy foam sticky back, you know, but yeah, very affordable fan um, with nice looking RGB that does 1900 RPM. Again, usually when you buy these cheap, they just look good kind of fans, they kind of have weak uh, power, but I wouldn't have a problem using these on a radiator. Now again, these aren't jet engine fans, but 1900, I consider 1200 RPM to be kind of the standard for a decent quality fan, 12 to 15. So they tried to put some extra bazunga on these and give them 1900. So this is what you'll be receiving in the giveaway two fans and a hub just make sure you're subscribed you comment and you live in the USA and um, if we get very few comments on this video your chances are going to be really good of, um, of getting these products for free so anyway thank you very much for watching this video and as always if you have any questions leave them down below have a good day